everybody. We're at the University of Waterloo, Ontario District event. I'm here with Eden, Jackson, Thomas, and Serge of Team Dave, number 3683. And they're gonna talk me through some of their changes that they've made since Niagara, how they do their autos, and the different subsystems of their robot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Okay, so you guys have a four-piece Coral Auto. How did you guys come up with that? How do you use that 15 seconds so efficiently? Yeah, so we knew that auto was really important. Last year we had some struggles with it. So this year we changed the way we use, we make our autos. We no longer use Path Planner. Uh, we use PID to points. Uh, we saw OP2056 used it last year and it worked really well for them. So we decided to copy it and it's worked really well for us. Um, the way we decided to score, the order that we score in is basically to minimize driving time. So we score the far back L4, and then we do the two, two that are directly driving from the source, and we go back to the back left again. Uh, the reason we decided to go to the back left is that a lot of teams, uh, like 2056, have four-piece autos that will end up scoring on the front of the reef, and we knew that in order to work around that, uh, we can't, you can't fit two robots in front of the reef, and so we can score on the back instead, and then they won't, we won't hit each other. Awesome, now do you just score on the left, or if you're on the right yeah, side? Yeah, we can score on done. the right side as well. Uh, it's the same thing. We score the four on the right side, and we don't we don't go to the front because we want to stay out of the way of other teams to maximize production scores. Cool. Thank you very much. So I heard you guys made some improvements since Niagara on your ramp. Do you want to walk me through that and how that works? Yeah. So at Niagara, one of the main things that was a problem was when we would feed it in, it would kind of bounce out. So we added this in just so that um, now we can feed it from farther away and it will go in more consistently. Um, we have these two sensors here, so we can track where the coral is when it goes in. And then we can also use this to unjam uh, when it goes in sideways. Um, we're able to get it oriented the right way. And then we're also able to hold the coral in here uh, while we have the algae. So we're able to do hybrid cycles, um, which improves the efficiency uh, of the cycles. Awesome, thank you. Okay, and then if you were to shoot it out. Awesome. So you can hold both at once. Cool. Okay, cool. So do you want to explain to me the elevator subsystem of the robot? Yeah, so we have a three-stage elevator and uh, we use continuous uh, into belt rigging uh, to run it. So we also have two Krakens at the bottom of our elevator. Um, which we use to power it, and they use a three to one gear ratio. Uh, we also have uh, two tie rods on each side to help make the elevator more rigid. And so um, we, we have the gantry on it and uh, it can lift up to max extension in just over half a second. And um, yeah, that's about it for our elevator. Wow, that's really fast. Uh, I noticed you have a constant force spring over here. How yeah. do you retain your wires when going up and down? Uh, so, uh, so when our elevator extends up, this kind of uh, helps us so it won't like um, flop around as much. And um, yeah, do you want to go and, yeah, ahead and extend? Just show the elevator. You can see that um, it really just like comes right back which uh, really helps us to make sure that we don't like get stuck on anything so awesome thank you very much okay so Jackson here is going to explain the gantry system so we hand off coral from our ramp and we grab them with our six uh, I believe these are thrifty rollers no Andy Mark rollers um, and then we have these belted together and they're driven from 
the an Kraken X44 that also runs our roller for our pivot to hold our algae. Um, we have bevel gears on here so that we can transfer the rotation from the roller to our uh, our other wheels. Um, and those look 3D printed. Are they yeah, hot so parts or they're custom? They're 3D printed, but we take the design from McMaster. Awesome. Um, and then we have on this side, we have an X60 running a pivot. So it's bolted onto our Lexan plate and it just allows us to rotate. Um, and then for our roller, we have a system of belts and tensioners that allow us to travel up the curve, as well as a gear exchange. Um, and then it just back drives to hold in the LG. Uh, do you want to show me it running? And I noticed that what your roller that you used to hold algae went down when you went to hit that L1 coral. So it, What's that for? It allows us to redirect our coral from a diagonal state more to a, a horizontal so it more easily sits in the trough. Awesome. Cool. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details.